Thank you for coming today to hear about small lab learning. <clears throat> we consider ourselves the leaders in uh, K-12 embodied learning. What does that mean to be embodied? Well, first I have to go to the next slide. Click. We sell innovative learning platforms and proprietary content to K-12 through schools. Our embodied products can make a significant difference in kids' engagement and motivation while they're learning. We get them up out of the seats, moving while they're learning, using their bodies. We're the first to market with educational motion capture products that leverage existing classroom technologies like interactive whiteboards. There are millions of those out. Teachers are constantly clamoring for more content. When computers and Wi-Fi first became ubiquitous at school, there was this expectation that they would change everything. I don't, well, I felt that. I've been around a long time in ed tech. And that really wasn't the case. So here's a 1990s classroom, and here's today's mediated classroom, mediated by a technology. And we still see that our graduation rates are not increasing. So there's something that's not working, right? Just putting a computer in front of a kid is not solving it. So maybe, really, what the problem is, is not about giving tech to kids, although I think that's very important. Maybe what matters is the quality of the content and how it's being delivered. So these two pieces. We're a content provider that creates generative and active K-12 learning scenarios using transformative technologies. <clears throat> we co-design everything following three pedagogical principles. Okay, the first one is that everything be embodied, that it's kinesthetic, that the kids get up and use gesture in a way that's congruent to the content that they're learning. <clears throat> we make it immersive, so they really feel like they're part of the lesson, and that can be a vertical uh, surface that's very large, or we also project onto the floor in a 15 by 15 foot space, so they're inside moving around in the space. <clears throat> we make everything extremely collaborative as well. So all the kids are getting up in the class and either in this large scale platform, moving around in the platform, sitting around the perimeter, shouting out hypotheses, or they're um, watching their peers playing in the connect situation. I'll show you what that looks like. So we're installed in about 12 schools now. This is the Quest to Learn School in New York City, very innovative using game design to teach. We have two products that we're selling, and I'm going to focus on the first one called Flow, Fluid Learning on the Wall, and that uses the Microsoft Connect sensor. The second one is Small Lab, and it uses um, uh, infrared motion capture cameras. So we would install 12 of those in the ceiling, and you would move around with a rigid body wand. That's how you're being tracked. You become the cursor in this space. But let me talk to you about Flow. So here's a picture of the sensor. It's now $120, so very cost effective. Uh, it plugs straight into a Windows laptop, and then you can display on either a whiteboard, a monitor, or any wall. So here I'm using a large monitor with some kids at a charter school out here in uh, Phoenix. <coughs> so this is a video on our website, smalllablearning.com. I'll give you the link for that. So as you see, the kids aren't even holding controllers. If you played around with the Connect, they're just moving their hand. We have a lot of science content, 6th through 12th grade. Uh, this is velocity, so they're learning about uh, velocity by just moving their hand up at a certain rate. They can learn about constant acceleration versus constant velocity. Projectiles, so now they're taking a bat and just by swinging their hand, they're hitting a bat and watching the projectiles and getting immediate feedback. <clears throat> we have paying customers in Florida, Los Angeles, multiple cities, and an active professional development network. Uh, on the team, I am a co-founder and the chief academic officer. I'm an entrepreneur, and I also am a research professor here at ASU, so I split my time between the company and research. Uh, David Birchfield is a co-founder. He's in Los Angeles, so most of our programmers are in Los Angeles now, and we have a CFO as well who's out here. We've gotten lots of great press, right? Yes, this is the New York Times Magazine front page. Um, but really, we're not just, you know, the sexy great technology. We have research to back us up, and so this is a study we just finished. I'll just draw your eye. Probably no one cares about this stuff but me, but uh, to a lovely effect size of greater than one standard deviation here whenever they were in the condition with the connect and moving their bodies and engaging kinesthetically with the content. Multiple peer-reviewed publications, so we've done a great job on our R&D. Our competitive advantage, we feel, is that our product technologies are operational in real classrooms now. It's very innovative, and we co-create everything with teachers and subject matter experts, so we're just not sitting there thinking that we know what's best. We're working with the teachers closely. <clears throat> our current focus is on STEM, and we know that that's a hot investment area. Um, there was about $3.4 billion spent in 2011 solely on STEM by uh, federal agencies. We've been funded with $3.5 million to date so far. Um, uh, an NSF grant that I'm currently running at ASU is helping create content, as well as a Gates uh, Wave 2 Educause Foundation grant that we just finished up, and uh, several other funds from MacArthur Foundation. 
We're seeking funds now to develop distribution partnerships. We build great content. We do great R&D. We don't know how to scale and get it out. I'm just being straight up. You know, a bunch of academics. We're the brain trust. We have to roll it out. We need help with that. We develop marketing and sales channels to innovative high and high tech. Uh, we've had our best luck selling to high tech high schools and charter schools. So we need to open that up. But you know, they're very receptive to what we're doing. They always want to be the first with the hot technology. So they love us. We need to complete the portfolio of our middle school math and science. So we're about 60% there, but we'd like to finish up and have a, a whole school year worth of content for that group and also push harder on language arts. We have some language arts uh, stuff, but really using the body to learn physics is just such a natural. So we've really pushed hard in the STEM area. So, oh my God, I, I can't believe I have a minute left. I, I can answer a question or two, maybe. I, I spoke really quickly. Thank you for your consideration. And you could either contact myself or David at smalllablearning.com. And um, we would love to also partner with creating content. Yeah. yeah how much does the payout cost on a classroom or a school day? OK, good. So the small lab, the big one, is 35 k right? That's expensive. But people get grants, and then we have a 50% margin on that. So that's been good for us. But getting the flow system with the Connect camera, you can either get it from us or go to Best Buy and get it for $120 and then download all our software for $500 a year. So it's, yeah, people get really excited about the flow because it's much more cost effective. And we're switching over to an app model. So if you go to the website now, you'll see it's a one year license, but we're switching over to, you know, because if you just want the chemistry titration one and you don't really care about physics, then you can buy that app for $50 for the whole year. Yeah. Thank you.